thanks to everybody for joining us today. We are, as you know, Canada's gateway to Asia Pacific here in British Columbia, and we have an unparalleled opportunity to take advantage of something ahead of us. With the fastest growing economies in the world, the fastest growing middle class in history, just across the Pacific Ocean, and we have those abundant resources, the lifeblood of economies that they need over in Asia. Now, since 2005, the public and private partners who are part of the Pacific Gateway Alliance, some of whom have joined us here today, thank you very much for that, have completed $12.3 billion worth of work to expand our ports, roads, airports and runways. Another $9.4 billion worth of work is currently under, underway, including the project that we're visiting today, the South Fraser Perimeter Road. But when you look at the demand in forestry, in minerals, agri-foods and energy, we know our current investments will not be enough. So yesterday, Blair and I announced the Pacific Gateway Transportation Strategy. We call it Moving Goods and People. And that's part of the BC Jobs Plan. It's the transportation strategy, which is a very big part of making it work, and part of our relentless focus on protecting and creating jobs for British Columbians. There's $3.1 billion that we know we need to keep people and products moving and working all along our major highways and roads. We cannot let traffic congestion and poor planning destroy jobs. There's $18 billion to unlock the potential of our Northern and First Nations communities by opening a trade corridor to natural gas overseas. And we are growing a whole new value-added export industry up there and strengthening our economy. And finally, there's $3.8 billion to make sure that ships, when ships drop anchor at BC ports, we have the facilities for our trucks, our trains, and that we can make sure that we can handle the demand. These new investments will create about 17,000 new jobs by 2020. And I want to be clear, they're not all government investments. This is a team effort to make sure that BC is the preferred gateway to Asia Pacific. It's a plan built around a common sense approach, planning for the future, working as a team together, because here in British Columbia, we have what the world needs. We have the people, we have the resources, we have the geographic location, and we need to leverage those advantages. That's what's going to grow our economy. That's what's going to create jobs. And ultimately, that's what's going to make sure that our economy can continue to support families.